Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Things. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can take dictionary as an input from user. Let's get into the computer screen and let's get started. So now I am inside my VS code and I want to create an empty dictionary here. So for that, I will write here D is equals to a pair of curly braces. So this means it is an empty dictionary. So we can check that also. I will write a print function here and inside that I will write type of d and now if i run this file then you can see it is printing class dict that means it is a dictionary okay so now i will clear the terminal and uh, i'll remove this print function and uh, i will ask user to enter the size of the dictionary so for that i'll write a variable name here let's say the variable name is size and uh, i'll write here an input function and uh, I'll write here int and inside this int function I'll write input and uh, now I'll write a message here that enter uh, the size okay enter the size and uh, now so now whatever value the user will enter that value will store inside this size variable in the form of integer okay so now we need to run a for loop here so for that I'll write here for i in a range and inside this range function i will pass this size variable okay so now so now in the each iteration of this for loop we will ask user to enter the key and value and we will store that key and value inside this dictionary okay so let's say here the key is the course name and the value will be the a number of students enrolled in that particular course okay so for that i'll write a variable here let's say key and is equals to i'll write here an input function and inside that i'll write a message that is enter uh, the course name course uh, name n a m e okay the course name and uh, i will create another variable that is your value and which is equals to I'll write here another input function and inside it I'll write enter the number of students okay so now we need to add this key and value inside this dictionary so how can I do that so to do that I'll write here simply D of key is equals to value okay so now after this for loop i will write a print function here and inside it i will print a message that is uh, the dictionary is and then i will simply print the dictionary d okay so let's run this file if i run this file then you can see uh, let's say it is printing that enter the size okay so let's say i will give the size as 3 and then hit enter then it is asking that enter the course name let's say i'll write here python and then hit enter and it will ask me enter the number of students let's say i'll enter here 100 and then hit enter then you can see it is asking me enter the course name again then i will write here let's say java and then I hit enter and the number of students let's say 90 and uh, another course name let's say c plus plus and then hit enter the number of course students let's say 50 and if i hit enter then you can see the dictionary is created and it is printing the dictionary here okay so in this way you can take dictionary as an input from user.